bring forth death. That's the word. Every time we have a negative emotion, whether it's sadness, mm -hmm. anger, fear, strife, or one of the others, we conceive something. Many people are conceiving things that they don't want to give birth to. What are we conceiving, people? Let's examine ourselves. When we give in to our flesh and start saying and doing things, we are releasing spiritual forces. We're spiritual beings first. So it's spiritual forces regardless, regardless if we know it or not. But what happens when you decide to love and not hate? Think of the forces being released when you are able to love someone who is despiteful. It is the power of God. That's the power of God. Imagine if it is revenge you seek when someone has hurt your feelings. That is the influence of the devil. Pay attention. So we need to recognize this battle that's raging. Gary. That's raging. And the fact that everything we say and do either empowers God or the devil. John 10 and 10, the thief cometh not, but to steal, kill, and destroy. I am come that they may have life, and that they may have it more abundantly, more abundantly. Not just in the heaven, but here on earth. Life more abundant. We don't have to be impoverished. Prosperity is ours because God, where God is, there's liberty. Depression and oppression and all of that stuff is not of the of God, it's of Satan. And we allow those things in. We allow those things. The Lord wants to release his life into us. Did y'all hear that? He wants to release his life into us. Satan wants to, wants to steal that life and kill and destroy us. Our thoughts, choices, and actions make a huge difference. The devil is the one who, whenever envy and strife is, brings confusion in every evil work. For where envy and strife is, there is confusion in every evil work. For God is not the author of confusion but a peace, as in all churches of, 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 of the saints. As a roaring lion, he constantly seek whom he may devour. Take control. Take control of your life. Take control of your life. Don't let him have your life. Don't let him steer your decisions. You take control of your life. Now, if you feel, and I, I, I know, maybe don't know one person in here, but if you are not saved on this morning, if you do not know the Lord as your personal Lord and Savior, then I, I, I really would urge you to come and get it right on today. So the invitation to the church of God is going forth right now. If you are not saved, if you do not truly know him as